today I'll be doing the live demonstration uh, for Digifort. So uh, from the screen here, uh, I'll be showing more of uh, how uh, the technology uh, partner system uh, works together with uh, Digifort as a uh, centralized platform. Digifort can be used as a C2 or a command and control platform uh, to be able to uh, present and to be able to even uh, manage events that's coming from different uh, uh, system. Okay, over here, I'll show you the interface. Okay, so on the top left, we have uh, entry pass platform one. Uh, this is the P1 software that is used to manage the access control. Uh, as you can see over here, uh, what we are seeing, what you are seeing here is basically the uh, P1 software that's running on the Windows based uh, computer somewhere in the network. And uh, what we are doing here is uh, we are using the uh, Digifor Insight to turn the screen of uh, the uh, P1 software uh, of the P1 computer into a video stream that is uh, connected to the server. So from here, uh, the surveillance client is able to pull up uh, the video stream and present it as just like a, a normal IP camera. So as you can see over here, this is basically a live uh, uh, screen that comes from the uh, uh, P1 software. And uh, not only can we actually see the live uh, screen, we can also do controls. Okay, so which is what I'm doing, uh, okay, which is what I'm doing now uh, by clicking. So you can see over here, I can also control uh, the various uh, uh, functions of uh, the P1 software where I can see the transaction, I can see the status of uh, the controllers, and I can uh, even configure the software from uh, the uh, Digifort surveillance client. Okay, so the next one on the right, we or top right, we have a Chaka web. Chaka is basically a web interface, uh, or rather a web-based uh, management platform, uh, to manage the uh, key ma uh, Chaka key management system and also the uh, locker system. So you know, it's basically a web-based uh, 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 system where you can use a web browser. So over here, what uh, the Digifort Surveillance Client has is actually an embedded. Uh, web browser where we can use that web browser to access to web pages or even systems that is running on a web base. So as you can see from here that uh, the Tata web, uh, we are using the Digifort Surveillance Client to access to the Tata web uh, in the same uh, panel uh, or rather in the same GUI uh, as, com uh, as with the other system like the P1 uh, software. So from here, we can also use a client to, in a way, to have a overview of all the various system in a tile kind of a setup where uh, instead of having to open up separate software or even separate uh, uh, web browser software to look at the information and to look uh, to manage. So everything can be managed from a single GUI. Okay. So for the truck up, web uh, is it, it, an in embedded uh, browser in the, in the Dig, uh, Digifort surveillance client, what we can do is we can look at the various status of the fox, uh, the, the keys by clicking it. Okay, it's just like a web browser and uh, we can go to user. We can even uh, do reports generation and uh, look at the reports from here, okay, from this interface. Okay, so that's all for Traka. And uh, on the bottom left, we have uh, a Quanergy Cortex client. Again, this is also using Digifort Insight. Uh, Cortex uh, client actually can run on the Windows base. And uh, again, we are using the Insight uh, to install it, uh, to run it from the computer. And the uh, screen capture uh, of the uh, computer will be uh, a video stream that goes to Digifort. And from here, we can actually, in a way, view the uh, the software from uh, uh, Digifort Surveillance Client. So this is uh, the, how the client looks like. Uh, it's basically presenting the point clouds uh, uh, on the software, so we can see how uh, the the point cloud move and uh, to make it in a prospective uh, way, I can show you a video. So this is uh, our office and I have my colleague to move around and then you can see the box is moving. Okay, so basically this is the object that's been detected by the sensors and uh, you can see that, uh, yep, this is how it is showing up in the uh, Codex client. Okay, so this is uh, another page where on the top left, you have the maps of our, uh, our room. 
Okay, we have uh, created two zones, zone one and zone two, okay, uh, for different triggers. And then over below, we have the mini panel. Okay, as you can see from below, there is the zone one and zone two. Okay, currently the keys are out because we want to uh, do a demo. Uh, we don't want the alarm to keep sounding. So we actually pull out the keys to disarm the system. Uh, so now what we can do is we can actually do uh, arming back of uh, the, the so-called LIDAR system for Digifop using uh, by putting back the keys. So as you can see from here, we have a right top right corner shows uh, 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 my colleague moving in to the, uh, to the uh, key cabinet and he will now push back the keys. Okay, so now you see that the system is armed. So now, when he moves it to the zone. So what you see over here is actually that is a trigger, okay, to pop out a video. And uh, actually, if you hear carefully, you will hear not only the blinker, uh, the siren, but there is also an audio broadcast behind. So this is achieved by using the function of a Digifort called the uh, uh, audio broadcast, where we can actually broadcast a pre-recorded audio file to a speaker. It can be a network speaker, it can be a speaker that's connected to a camera, and then we can attach an action or rather an event that will trigger this action. So now my colleague will move to another zone, that is zone two, as you can see from the picture over here. So once it's into the zone, you see that there is an, uh, there's another pop-up and uh, you will hear that there's another uh, uh, another sound behind. Over at the uh, Mimi panel, you will see the alarm will sound out. I mean, the, the alarm siren will, will light up and also uh, on the uh, alarm uh, column, you'll see that the, the indicator will turn to red to symbolize that uh, yeah, this zone is being triggered. And on, on the map, you'll see that the, the icon is blinking. So you just have to double click to switch it off and I'll do a reset. So by resetting the, uh, the system, we can also have a pop-up for the operator to key in any observation so that uh, when they want to do investigation or create reports, right? all this will be uh, in the logs. Okay, uh, and this is an auto tracking function. And this is not an auto fun uh, the, this auto tracking function does not actually comes from uh, Digifor or, or even the, build, uh, the camera building function is actually coming from the LiDAR system. Okay, what happened is that the, uh, when uh, the, the, the intrusion zone is being triggered, uh, the uh, Cortex server will take over the camera and then you will control the camera to follow the object. So this way of tracking is more effective uh, than uh, video-based tracking because for video-based tracking, a lot of times they are using uh, visual. So if the camera can see the object, they will track. If the object goes behind another object, the camera cannot see, it will not be able to track it for some reason because the camera cannot see. So by using the LiDAR system, what it can be used is that uh, because as long as the sensor is able to detect the object, even though the object is going behind another, uh, or rather the human or the, the person or the, the vehicle goes behind another object, right? As long as the sensors can track, uh, can detect it, the camera will home on this object, okay? So this is a demo that we have done, okay? I have my colleague walking on uh, this area. And then when he enters into the zone, what happened is uh, Digifor will have a pop-up and then you'll control the PDZ camera to follow uh, the object that's in the zone until he goes out of the zone and then the PDZ camera will go back to home position. So it depends on how you configure, you can actually follow the object until uh, the sensors cannot detect it anymore. Okay, so this is how uh, uh, the auto tracking for uh, using LiDAR together with uh, Digifort as, uh, as a, a platform to, to do pop-ups, to, to even uh, create uh, 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 event logs and uh, to show the videos. Yeah, this is how uh, it works, okay?